I feel like I want to cry. Why? Just because it's like, it gives me anxiety. Kourtney Kardashian has been involved in many of her family's feuds, and a lot of viewers sided with her last year when Kim brought her kids up during an argument. But she has a surprising amount of toxic traits as well, and a long history of playing the victim. Kourtney has actually been called out several times for being extremely hypocritical, but that's not all. The details surrounding her harmful, manipulative behavior and tendency to shift the blame are honestly crazy, so let's break them down. It's no secret that Courtney and Kim haven't always seen eye to eye, and over the last few years, they've been fighting with each other more often than not. On the season four premiere of The Kardashians, the tension between the sisters reached an insane boiling point. During a phone call that quickly became heated, Kim and Courtney both made some harsh and unnecessary comments to each other. But at one point, things took a startling turn and Courtney absolutely went off on Kim, who made a very intriguing remark. According to Newsweek, after Courtney repeatedly said that she felt like it was impossible for Kim to be happy for her, Kim fired back. She explained that Courtney only feels that way because she has a serious vendetta. Kim expressed to Courtney that she seemed like a different angry person and admitted that a lot of people were worried about whether she was actually happy. But after Courtney told Kim that she hated her and accused her of turning her friends, kids, and the rest of the family against her, many viewers had a truly eye-opening moment. A lot of people realized that Courtney had been playing the victim, which might have been what Kim was referring to when she mentioned her serious vendetta. They took to social media to discuss Courtney's victim complex, and what they had to say was unbelievable. One person pointed out that Courtney's mentality was exhausting because she wanted everyone to feel bad for her and forget that she'd done anything wrong. They added that anytime a situation isn't all about her, she starts going off on everybody else. Another person explained that Courtney has a bad habit of immediately picking other people apart, but she somehow thinks that she doesn't do anything wrong. They also said that she's always been especially hateful toward Kim, but never seems to care about a resolution. This was clear at the end of their phone call. When Kim told her sister that she'd been doing her best to resolve their feud and figure out how to fix things, Courtney continued to victimize herself as she twisted the narrative. Kim brought up that Courtney had been taking everything out on her, even though she had been calling her all the time to try to work things out. But instead of taking any accountability for being so aggressive with her attacks, Courtney just called Kim a narcissist and a witch before hanging up on her. But it really wasn't too surprising that Courtney didn't take any accountability because that's what happens almost every time she gets into an argument. According to People Magazine, in a 2019 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, she and Kendall got into a fight for a seriously bizarre reason. When Courtney decided to join Kendall and her friends on a ski trip, she had a great time. But apparently, Kendall had a complete completely different experience. She confessed to Chloe that Courtney had been bullying her by making rude remarks that she disguised as jokes. Kendall added that she thought Courtney might have wanted to impress her friends by trying to act more cool and funny. But after she admitted how hurtful Courtney's comments were, Chloe decided to bring the matter up to Courtney. They will do like little digs to make her friends laugh, but it's always at her expense. However, Courtney didn't seem to think it was a big deal at all. I'm kind of making fun of her, but like it's funny. She even claimed that it wasn't fair for Kendall to accuse her of being a bully. Courtney explained that she was just having a good time and that joking around was part of her personality, but that wasn't all. Courtney also said that she simply hadn't realized that Kendall was so uptight and sensitive. She honestly handled the issue in such a manipulative way and Kendall was really hurt that her own sister wouldn't even apologize to her. She can't sit back and just be like, all right, I was wrong. Kendall was clearly frustrated, so Chloe responded by trying to explain Courtney's mentality. She has made up her mind in life that she is taking on the victim role. Like everything is somebody else. Sadly, Chloe knows that side of Courtney all too well and has even been in almost the exact same situation. At one point, Courtney made some mean remarks to her and tried to play them off as jokes. But when Chloe told her that she was hurt, Courtney truly didn't seem to care. That's joking. It's like, I think you take things really sensitively. She even tried to gaslight Chloe and put the blame on her. And that's fine. No, I, just I just need to not just... make those jokes with you. No, I don't think they're, I think they're just like rude. Thankfully, Chloe called out Courtney's so-called jokes, but unfortunately, it didn't do any good. But to me, it's a joke. 
to you, it's rude. So I won't make them to you because you don't take it the way that I'm meaning it. Her refusal to admit any fault was downright ridiculous. I think it's hard to decipher if it is a joke or not. Let's just move on. Can you imagine if anyone said that to Courtney? She would lose her mind. She's never able to actually resolve an argument in a healthy way, let alone move on quickly from it. Even when Chloe has actively tried to communicate with Courtney and work through their problems, she's been extremely disrespectful. We always just like sweep things under the rug and we don't talk anything through. She wouldn't even look away from her phone to try to be present. That's just what this family does. Chloe was right about that though. Their lack of communication definitely didn't help the issues that the family members had with each other. Courtney has held resentment toward her mom since she was a child and the reason why is truly unbelievable. Cheat Cheat reported that Robert Kardashian Sr. was devastated when he discovered that Chris was having an affair because he never wanted to get divorced. Unfortunately, they couldn't make the marriage work and ended up divorcing in the early 1990s. Courtney has confessed that she still resents her mom for cheating on her dad because it ultimately broke up their family. At one point, she even told Chloe that she had no interest in trying to work through the bitterness she feels about her mom's infidelity and added that she would rather not be alive. But it turns out that Courtney hadn't just been affected by her mom's affair and the divorce. According to Amo Mama, Chris was interviewed by Gileana Rancic in a 2014 episode of Beyond Candid. She revealed that when she married Caitlyn Jenner, Courtney had a really difficult time. Chris explained that after she remarried, Courtney wore all black clothing for almost five years because she didn't want anyone to try to take her father's place. When Chris and Caitlin had Kendall and Kylie, Courtney allegedly also struggled with the fact that her mom had started a new family after she had destroyed theirs. Courtney still holds that resentment towards Chris all these years later. But even though she didn't cheat on Scott, it's super hypocritical of her to still be angry with her mom since she basically did the same thing. Courtney moved on from Scott and ended up marrying Travis Barker, which wasn't an easy adjustment for her kids. Not only that, but she also started a new family, just like her mom had done. It's pretty bizarre that Courtney found it so unforgivable when Chris did it, but she believed that getting married and having another baby was a blessing in her life. Considering how many issues Courtney has with her family members, it's kind of crazy that she's actually still filming with them. Although during these last few seasons of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, she threatened to leave the show countless times. I honestly don't want to film, like ever again. But even though she had been complaining about filming and having to be around her sisters for a long time, she still chooses to sign the contract every single season. So when the final season kicked off and Courtney went right back to acting miserable when she had to film, Chloe admitted how frustrating it was. She could have made the decision to quit. She chose to not quit. Courtney could have ended her contract, but she made the decision to renew it. So every time she was annoyed about filming or tried to get out of her contract, she was playing the victim. But according to Chi Chi, one of her most used excuses for wanting to break her contract early and leave the show exposed even more of her toxic behavior. On several different occasions, Courtney claimed that it was so challenging for her to film since she no longer enjoyed it. Even viewers started to get irritated with Courtney because of how many times she argued that filming didn't make her happy anymore. So she should be allowed to leave the show. Some viewers believed that Courtney was being unappreciative and was acting spoiled. Spoiled. So many people are unhappy with their jobs, but due to financial reasons, they don't have the option to leave. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if she sticks around on the show for much longer or finally decides to walk away. Aside from being hypocritical and playing the victim, Courtney clearly has harmful and manipulative tendencies as well. But now that we've gotten into her different toxic traits, I want to know what your thoughts are. What do you think about her pattern of refusing to take accountability and playing the victim in her family feuds? What are your thoughts on the extreme resentment Courtney holds toward her mom for breaking up their family and then starting a new one, even though she did almost the exact same thing? Let me know in the comments below.